celebrate the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au Well, you sure do meet some interesting characters here at the show. Susan Phillips Reese here, and uh, a young lady, Isla Roberts, who you've been to one or two of these shows, haven't you? Oh, yes, for years. How long have you been competing here? Oh, 30 years, 36 years. Now, we're currently watching our harness class at the moment. You've got a particular fondness for horse and carriage? Yes, absolutely. I've had at least five teams. And now I've only got two parties. Teams of four, that means. Well, teams of four. Now, Susan, you've had an interesting role in the carriage world. You sit in the watch seat. It's a like suicide seat, we call it. No one wants to sit in the suicide seat. What does that mean? You have to keep breathing is one thing. Uh, and it means that if everything tips over, you might fall out. Oh, heavens. Well, let's look at some photos of uh, you both competing. I'll tell you what, I'll bring this up on the big screen here so that you can see it in front of me. And tell me, what are we viewing here? Oh, that's on, that's on the farm at Lock at Begunia. That's, that's uh, me. That's my twin sister, Barbara. That's my eldest sister, Margaret, and that's my eldest brother, Bill. Oh, well, look at gorgeous Bill up the front. What are we looking at now? That's Barb. That's the horse that's called Rumba. Rumba? It was bought from the Goy sale for eight pounds. We broke it in and taught it to rear. And wherever you went, she could put her feet on that thing. And one, one day we're in Adelaide. We brought the horses to Adelaide when we were nursing. And uh, we went down by the zoo where they had the spruikers tents. The millage of them then. And she comes up. But Hold on, is this you going to school at the moment on this photo? Who, who's, oh, oh, yes, we're going to school here. I'm the eldest in the family, so I can always get the tickets and I always had the reins. When we had the motorbike, I was always on the front. <laughs> yes. The older twin by three minutes. Older twin, yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Now we've got another photo here. We've just seen this photo. Hold on, we've just, hold on, we're going back to... Hold on, new photo. Here we go. What's this? Oh, this is at the uh, uh, show. Oh, we're in the buggy. Susan, tell me, what do you see in this photo? I can't see it very well at all, but I, I think it's a dressed-up occasion because we're not wearing the hard hats. I'm wearing the bowler <laughs> and the riding habit. I think it might be the parade through Adelaide from the Royal Shows. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, what's this? This is a good one. I was doing a school with Michael Till and he decided to drive the team and had Hank Van Dyke on the back and the horses bolted because the hat flew over uh, Michael's oh, eyes. Head, yes. And they went and through it, the and dam. And they went down there and then they did a lefty through the dam and I was just lucky because I had a camera I got in a yellow camera I got in Perth, waterproof. I said, this kid, get over there and get the camera. And that's how I got the photo. What are we looking at now, Susan? That looks like a tran... Oh, it's a quadrum. It's four horses, one in front of the other, which is a quite a technical thing to do. You have to have huge length of reins. Oh, that's a... Oh, this is one of the first times that we put these two ponies in at Craigburn Farm, Blackwood. That cart's over 100 years old, isn't it? Oh, yes, as well. Yes, it's done now. It's in... Uh, I sold it to my niece and we did a wedding with the big draft horse in Victoria not long ago. What are we looking at here? Now, this is in the sea down at Somerton in front of Minda. I used to get down there 7 o'clock in the morning. It was just wonderful. And the racehorses just wondered what the... They thought the ponies were ghosts. The racehorses were terrified of the ponies. Goodness. <laughs> oh, no, that's... Uh, Deirdre Heisen, as was, uh, that was for the women of the wilderness photo shoot. For the Gorgeous. Calendar. And this is a little drive we did through uh, Handoff. Did... When would that have been? Oh, you followed us up with that. When would that go through the hand off? When, when, that's the last time I drove the four horses in, buggy, in the buggy. Uh, 
Oh, we're about to play a little video here now of more, I guess, more recent times. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll bring that video up here in just a second and you can tell me, Isla, what we're looking at. <laughs> this is your son's wedding, isn't it? Whoa, I can't see, can't see the screen. Team, I can't see it at all. This is Jim Roberts' wedding that we're looking at on screen right now, the beautiful uh, harness carriage vehicle out there. Just hang on a minute. Who's wedding? Jim. Oh, Jim's wedding. Yes. That was from Coromandel Valley all the way back up to the park. Now, is this your 80th we're seeing? This one. Oh, this is good. Well, I don't really know. Arriving to Cameron's house, your grandson. Yeah, who's kissing me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is uh, Cameron's wedding. Your grandson? Yeah, he lived next door. Had a kind of, there was a little kid in there. There was a little kid in there. Yeah, I had to get him to drive it down because it was steep and I couldn't hang on to the horse and the buggy because it didn't have any brakes. Yes, but there's a little child who was in there. She said, I'm the boss here. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll tell you what. She said, I'm the boss. I said, no, you're not. She said, I'm sitting on somebody's knee. I said, no, you're not. I'm the boss. Now get out. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, Susan and Isla, you've got some wonderful friends here around the beautiful Royal Adelaide Show. It's a great event to come to. You're proud South Australians and you're proud competitors. We're going to see an event behind us in a little while later this afternoon. Tell us a bit about what we can expect to see here. You've competed in this event before, Susan. Yeah, this is cone driving. So you're going through gates of witches' hats against the clock. So it's speed and accuracy. We can't wait to see it, Isla. We've had a great time chatting to you. And when you knock a ball off, it's five points or something, so your score comes to go. So you get a penalty, a demerit. Demerit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, nice to see you all. <laughs> Isla, it's Isla and Susan, lovely to chat to you both. We're going to head over now for the judging of our champion non-hackney harness pony. See you there in about 30 seconds' time. You're going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been fabulous. Thank you. Well, welcome back to our live stream here. We're bringing you currently a workout of our contender at the moment in champion non-hackney pony. Uh, and uh, I can tell you that our competitors for champion today were catalogue 206. And uh, that was Corinne Collins and Andrew James's nomination of Yarra Heights Bee's Gift. That uh, was a winner of class 40. 
Uh, our winner of class 41 was catalogue 197. We brought that class to you live here on the uh, live stream. That was also Corinne Collins and Andrew James's nomination, but this time they're Palomino Gelding, Nora Park, Pink Panther. We most recently judged class 42, and our winner there was catalogue 221. Once again, the Corinne Collins and Andrew James stable, this time with their nomination of Clemson Billboard. I can tell you now that our champion has been brought forward. I won't bring the official announcement to you, but but uh, we have just seen the workout of catalogue number 219, Robin Anderson's nomination of Warren Wood Providence for reserve champion. Well, our judge, Rodney Lane from Victoria, he is scrutinising our exhibits right now, making his final decision. He's getting another of our... Uh, winners from class 42 to do a workout so they're back on the circle now you've just seen catalog number 221 out front that's clemson billboard you're also seeing catalog number 206 that's a yarra heights bees gift if you're in the know you will have figured out who our champion is for non-hackney ponies and you're also seeing catalog number 219 it's robin anderson's nomination of warren wood providence I'm fortunate here to have uh, Tad McLean with me, also doing the commentary over the uh, the big PA here on the grounds. But this is a magnificent class, isn't it? Oh, yeah, once again, very, very classy ponies. Look very, very good. Just lovely to see our harness classes go around. Uh, show driving events are often called harness classes and they can be seen at most agricultural shows, including royal shows, just like Royal Adelaide. We see them divided into light and heavy harness. We brought you our supreme heavy harness before. A big congratulations once again to Mick Keogh and uh, his exhibits today taking out supreme. One really interesting fact, every pony in this class has got four white socks. Isn't that lovely to see and uh, they're just so beautifully presented out here too and uh, you're watching those now on your live stream we see our harness classes that include turnouts and then we see classes for horses and ponies and then there are separate classes once again for drivers and in turnout classes, we're looking at the horse, the vehicle, the harness, the general appearance, all of that is judged. Whilst in classes like this, the performance of the uh, ponies or the horses is the focus for our judge. And we see all sorts of different vehicles out here. We've seen viceroys, buggies. They're all the four-wheelers. The viceroys are what you're viewing on your screen at the moment. And also you'll we'll see in different classes the two-wheelers, the jinkers, the sulkies. We've got uh, drivers here who are very experienced and we've got drivers here who are very, very young as well. We just saw a young gentleman make his way back into the lineup a second ago. We're bringing you our cone driving later on this afternoon and uh, that's kind of, I guess, the show jumping of the harness world. And uh, the cone driving is a lot of fun to watch. You'll see a ball placed on top of a bunch of traffic cones. If a ball is dislodged by the driver, five penalty points are incurred. The drivers have sort of a 20 or 10 centimetre clearance between their wheel widths and the cone. And the course has to be driven in the correct numerical sequence. Again, each height class has been allowed a certain time, so we'll bring you our cone driving later on today. It is certainly quite a spectacle. Well, driving is one of the oldest competitive sports in the world and it's uh, certainly the oldest competitive equestrian sport. And we'll be bringing you that cone driving here this afternoon. I'll tell you what, we've given our uh, champion a bit of a challenge here. We've, there's a balloon bouncing its way across in the wind here at the 244th Royal Adelaide Show. When we bring you to the presentation area now to make the announcement of our champion, Non Hackney Pony. And uh, we brought you Class 41, 
that our champion won earlier today. Corinne Collins and Andrew James's nomination. Norwara Park, Pink Panther, the Palomino is our champion non-hackney pony for the 2019 Royal Adelaide Show. And catalogue number 219 is our reserve champion. 219 is Robin Anderson and Warren Wood Providence, the horse. Robin, congratulations on your reserve champion success here today. Yeah, it's wonderful. We're really, really pleased with the pony. He's only, you know, to win his novice and then to get reserve champion. Outstanding. Yep. Your lovely grey pony. Um, how much experience or success have you had with this exhibit in the past? Well, he's actually only been in harness 12 months. So I sort of got him this time last year and we've got him into the harness and a uh, few local shows and then off to the Royals because we thought he had great potential. Well, it's almost as if the heavens have opened up to say this is your moment here with your reserve champion. Uh, Robin, I'll tell you what, if you've only had this horse 12 months in harness, boy, have you got a big future ahead of you. I think so. We're really impressed with him and it's fabulous that he's come out and worked so well in all weather today, really. So, yeah, fantastic. We've had four seasons and a balloon across the middle of the arena. So, gee, you've done well here today. Your uh, magnificent exhibit here warren wood providence our reserve champion here today for non-hackney ponies but it's the day for our uh, champion now warra park pink panther andrew james what a day for you it's been a great day to have three come out in their open classes and win and go through to the champion just sensational now this is a real family pursuit tell me about your family's involvement before you and ahead of you well, Corinne, who is the engine behind all this, Corinne just loves the harness, and Andrea as well. They're just a team. We're one big team that all work together for the greater goal. Well, the goal has been achieved today. Oh, absolutely sensational. Could not be happier. Thank you very much. Well, uh, Andrew James and Corinne Collins and their nomination today of Nawara Park, Pink Panther, <laughs> having a bit of a sniff of me right now. And of course, boys and girls, we love having you on our live stream. Mums and dads, ask us questions. Ask us to ask questions of our exhibitors, our judge. Very happy to engage with you here on the program. And I'm going to surprise our judge right now because he hates a microphone. He's walking away from me, but we're going to get him anyway. <laughs> Rodney Lane, you've travelled all the way from Victoria. Beautiful exhibits today. Fantastic. It was a, it's a credit to the drivers. They've produced them beautifully in um, trying conditions here in Adelaide Show. They certainly are, and uh, you yourself are an owner of many a beautiful carriage. Tell me, where does your passion originate? My passion um, originated from my father and um, his father before him. Uh, we've got a collection of many horse-drawn vehicles, including memorabilia, um, and I am very f fanatical, I'd say. I'm a buggy nut commonly known as a buggy nut yes and yeah i've got all sorts of bits and pieces of collections of whips and lamps and you name it i've got it what are we judging this afternoon we're judging the supreme harness exhibit light harness exhibit um which will have a mixture of all uh, the types in it as well so that'll be a bit of fun enjoy your afternoon we'll see you back out here for those classes thank you lindsay the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and the high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au
love it. We come over to the Adelaide show here every year. I'm really excited to be competing today. This event is special because it's the premium wine show in Australia. South Australia makes 75% of Australia's wines and this is where we have the best wine. If you want to understand wine and enjoy wine, come here. It's great value, yeah. it really is. It's such good value. You can go to a tasting sort of event anywhere but it's not going to be like thousands, like literally thousands. There's some new wines that you don't ever see in some of the wineries and to get such a broad spectrum of wine in one night is brilliant. We're talking about wines that are just out on the tables here that are upwards of $150, $200 bottles, right down to your $20, $30 bottles, which are great to get into as well. There is a wine here for everybody. There's about 70 different categories of wine, and you just got to get out there. You've got the freedom to pick up the bottle, put it in your glass and taste. I think it's good that it's uh, a little bit unstructured, and I don't mean that in a, a chaotic way. Uh, nobody's here trying to stop you from opening a red or opening a white or whatever. This beats like going to cellar doors and stuff. It just cuts all of that out. Like the access to everything, yeah. no big queues to wait around for one bottle. Fortunately, I spent the extra $10 to do the masterclass at 5.30. And that was fantastic to try the award-winning wines. I keep coming back each year because I enjoy seeing the new vintages, the new wines, the new take on some of the old-style wines. Amazing.
celebrate the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and the high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au over to the Adelaide show here every year. I'm really excited to be competing today. here on the live stream we are currently watching the end of the judging of our supreme champion light harness exhibit of the show i'm going to show you on our screen now each of our exhibits before the official announcement is made you're currently looking at catalog number 196 this is all the way from mitagong the rag and proctor family show team's nomination that was winner of champion hackney harness pony glenwood limited edition in the middle, you can see our exhibit number 209. 209 is the Herberton and Cusacks nomination of Makari Light Victory. And uh, our final exhibit here for Supreme Champion Light Harness exhibit, catalogue number 197, Corinne Collins and Andrew James's nomination of Nawara Park Pink Panther. But I can tell you now that our Supreme Champion Light Harness exhibit being presented now by Peter Mosey, our uh, sponsor of this wonderful class is catalogue number 209 the Herberton and Cusack nomination of Makari Victory Light Andy Cusack congratulations on your success today supreme champion light harness exhibit of the show yes it's a great honor uh, and there's some very good horses here that any one of them could have been the supreme but i'll uh, i'll take it if it's uh, if the, the judge is giving it so we're really pleased with this we've bred this horse and uh, so we're pretty happy uh, very happy. i was about to say i'd love to know a bit more about this exhibit where have you had success in the past and you've bred this horse yeah bred this horse and uh it's taken a little while to get him going really well but he's, he's just clicking with me at the moment but he's been to melbourne and sydney and uh, adelaide a couple of times so he's he's uh, really starting to go very well. well. Peter Moses is making the presentation to you now of our supreme champion prize of the show. And uh, we might uh, see if we can get an interview with Peter Mosey now. Peter, I wonder if I could get you to turn around quickly for our live stream. You've had a long history here with the light harness section of the show. We've shown, shown here for 54 years. About four years ago, I retired, and that's, that's the way it went. Well, it went yes. You're the sponsor of the class today. What is the uh, prize? Oh, it's a clock. Um, it just a trophy, yes. Have you enjoyed watching the quality of these ex exhibits this year? And what do you look for, particularly in your light harness exhibits? Well, um, yes, and I, for a, a lovely horse and action and 
and uh, well presented, yes. Well, I'll allow you to make this presentation now to the Cub uh, Cusacks with their exhibit, who is our supreme champion, a light harness exhibit of the show. Uh, Bruce Redpath making that presentation also at the moment, our chief steward for this section of the show and very passionate about our light harness section as well and they're making their way out of the arena now. We'll watch them. Catalogue number 209 making his way out of the arena now and that is Makari Victory Light. The state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and the high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au